Good morning. Happy Saturday. Come here. Come. Come here. Come and say hello. How are you doing? Somebody is waiting for. Oh my god, I haven't even combed my hair yet. Like, I'm a mess, but who cares? You've seen me worse. <laughs> bag with peanut butter and jelly and apple my favorite and somebody's waiting so not patiently for their little pieces okay come no you have to come here and say hello he's so annoying he's like just give me some apple do you want some apple do you want some apple oh my god you have to come here if you want some apple i'm not doing it come See? He gets some apple. Cheers, Chris. That's so good. Today is my get together. I'm so excited. Let me tell you. I swear I've been doing a countdown. I got asked to switch twice at work, and I'm like, nope, not doing it. I wouldn't even work this morning. Because I don't want to be tired. The weather is... It's sunny, but kind of gray. Oh, well. I don't care if it pours rain, snows, blizzard, I don't care. I'm going to this event. I'm so excited. Oh, the nails. They're crappy. I'm trying all the nail polishes to see which one I really like. These two, don't like. They're kind of gloopy, which is weird. This one, I like. This one, I love. But, you know, purple's my favorite color. This one's really pretty. I like all of these, actually. But this one is my favorite. It's like a taupey color. I would check what color it is, but all of my nail polishes are literally right under my phone. Because, you know, that's how I do things around here. <laughs> and they're in a basket that's holding up my phone so that I, you all can see me. I wish you could see the dog and how freaking he's right up my food. Okay. Well, she needs a nail trim. I need to call her that again. Last time I called on the way home from work and it was too late. We were closed. So we're going to off the hook fish bar it's called. <clears throat> I've been there a few times. Cheers, Chris. And I've also ordered from there, like maybe two or three times. They have dedicated gluten-free vegan fryers. 
that is extremely hard to find. But, whenever I go somewhere and I'm ordering something, I always ask because as a vegan, I'm not so excited about going somewhere that fries everything in one place. That's a personal choice, obviously. I don't know if it would make me sick because I do try to avoid it. Um, because I feel like that's different than places that you go that just have vegan offerings that are cooked, say, in a frying pan or anything that can be completely cleaned. Where oil... Some places don't even filter it because they don't have that. They just do a full clean out once a week, right? Vitamin. So. Even filtered, now that I think about it, it would gross me out. Like when I used to work at Loblaws, we would filter the oil very often. Because we'd be cooking, well, frying all kinds of stuff like um, chicken wings and um, french fries and chicken fingers and all kinds of stuff. And it would get all the crumbs, right, that would accumulate. So you pressed a button and it went through this filter down to the bottom of the machine. And then it would push it back up through a different filter. It was really cool, actually, to be honest. And your oil, that was all crummy, would come up clean looking at least. We did that several times a day. And then again at the end of the night. So that we were ready for first thing in the morning. And then we also did the whole change over. Um... I think it was every Tuesday. I don't remember. Honestly, it's been so many years since I worked there. But it was once a week. Anyway. And that's a pretty, pretty, bleh, pretty big process. Because their fryers are huge. And then it has to be taken to the back. And a special company would come and pick it up. Same as when I worked at the bar. Not that whole process. We did it once a week. There was no filter on the machine because it was a small deep fryer. A lot less oil. Excuse me. And um, it would just be dumped into a big barrel at the side of the building. And a special company would come when that barrel was full. There was a lot of people who, that's why I think it was Tuesdays, because some people would come only on fresh oil day. Because <laughs> the food does taste different no matter how much it's filtered. If you're cooking it in funky oil, not going to lie. And it's not like it's refrigerated or anything, it's just sitting there. I really do want it to at least warm up or feel like it's going to be a nice day. I'm going to be staying in for the most part. I want to clean the kitchen and get it organized.
I might switch over the tablecloth, not the tablecloth, the placemats on the table. Mm, not so sure about that one yet, but it's okay. They can see a tiny little bit of your ear. Nicole is here for the weekend. And I'm not sure if they're going to um, a vintage show today or not. Or if they're just, okay, excuse me, I need a drink. Thank you. Or if they're just hanging out at home, too. My meetup is at 6 o'clock. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. I've been posting in there quite a lot this week, you know, like four more days left to go, whatever day that was, Saturday, Friday, Thursday, on Wednesday, and then I posted again this morning, actually, I posted yesterday, and then I posted again this morning, and today's the day, oh my god. Like I said, I've been talking to these women for months and haven't met any of them in person except one of them. So I am so excited. Especially to meet the two ladies who are the other admins, the admin team. We haven't even met in person, you know? I video chatted with one of them. Because I used to go in there and do like little video chats at night. And just everybody would just chat with each other. That was really fun. It's another way to get to know people. The joys of allergy season. Oh God, spring is sometimes the worst. So I tell them all the time, first thing you do when you wake up in the morning, have a shower. Right before you bed, right before you go to bed, sorry, have a quick shower just so that you wash off all of the dust and everything from throughout the day. And make sure you wash your pillowcase a lot. Oh, come on. A blueberry literally just rolled down my dress. Wow. Uh -huh. Charlie's like, it's okay, I'll fix it. What's that? And what's that? Look, Charlie. Right there, look. La, la, la. <laughs> You're adorable. I'm surprised that I woke up so early, to be honest. I was on the phone until, like, was it 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock? I don't know. It was freaking late. All done, Bubba. Uh. 
I'm going to be having salad for lunch today. I know that. We have the most beautiful lettuce in the fridge. That came from Food Share Toronto Box. Oh my goodness. It's so, like, just, it's this big, huge, like, oh my gosh, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, I'm trying to think of a word, but I can't. Kind of like fl flourished? You know what I mean. It's just gorgeous. It's so big and like, it just looks like it's going to be nice and crispy and crunchy and hearty. I loves me a salad. Oh. Alright, friends. I am... No, I'm not going to say goodbye. Excuse me. I have to tell you about the drama yesterday. So remember how I said I like to take the streetcar so that I don't get any drama because all the drama is on the, on the subway? Street cleaner. Well, did yesterday ever prove that wrong? Holy Moses. So... <sighs> Let me have a drink. <laughs> I leave my house. I go to the streetcar stop. And it's telling me, I don't know, 21 minutes or something for the streetcar. And I'm like, yeah, no. So I walk down to Queen Street. Did I already tell this story? I hope I didn't tell this story. I can't remember if it was, like, somebody that I was telling it to or if I was telling it to you all. But, anyway, well, if I did, oh well, I'm telling it again. So, I walk down to Queen Street. I've got my headphones in, but as you know, one of them doesn't work. So, I can still be aware of what's going on. And it's 8.30, maybe 8.40 in the morning. So, I'm thinking that there's not going to be any drama. It's still early. Ugh. Really? I was, I was way wrong on that one. So, I'm sitting in the, the streetcar booth, bus, bus shelter thing. And, um, I hear some yelling. So I'm like, okay. So I take my headphone out so that I can listen to it a little bit more. And it, it's this guy yelling at this other guy. And he's screaming all kinds of obscenities at him and telling him that he wants to fight him. And I'm like, oh, good Lord. At this point, he goes into the middle of the road. Now, it's four, four lane traffic. No, Charlie. Four lanes on this one particular stretch of Queen Street. And he's literally in the middle of the freaking road. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? They're not really close to me, so I'm not that worried. But the other guy who he's yelling at is not talking back to him, is not saying anything, is not moving towards the middle of the road to, like, fight the guy. And he says to him, come over here, come over here, there's cameras so that everybody can see what's going on. And the guy's like, um, you know, trying to do one of these, like, just avoid him type thing. It's not working. He's still going on and on and on. It was getting a little bit more aggressive. And he was like right in his face. And I'm really thankful that the other guy wasn't retaliating or anything. Because I'm sure that it would have been a big huge scene. So I get up and I walk towards the, the crosswalk. Or the lights. Whatever. The intersection. Because at least there it's a little bit busy. There's people crossing back and forth to walk their dogs and everything. This lady's like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I don't even know what's going on. I'm like, they just, he just started screaming at him. I don't know if it happened, like, as he walked by or what. But it just, it really just, he just started freaking out. I'm like, don't worry about it. Hopefully nothing happens because the other guy is being really calm. Anyway. This went on for quite a few minutes and then the streetcar started coming. But I stayed over there until the streetcar was, like, right there. Because there's no way I'm going near them. Because he wouldn't stop. And at this point, he literally was screaming at the top of his lungs. 
I'm like, oh my god, it's like 8.45 now in the morning. And this is way too early for my brain to be even processing what's going on. So fine. We get on the streetcar and I'm like, please don't let the yelling guy get on the streetcar. He doesn't. Thank goodness. He just keeps walking down Queen Street. And the other quiet guy gets on. We're not sitting close together or anything like that. So it's not like I could ask him what happened. And honestly, I don't even, I don't even think he would have an answer for that. I think the other guy was just looking to start something. Um, so that was one thing. And then I get on the streetcar and there's like a bunch of stuff going on in the streetcar. And I'm like, oh my God, come on. I just want to go to work. Like, really? Why? Like, Why? There's never any drama on the streetcar. Not never. Obviously, there has been a few times where there's been, you know, a situation. But it hasn't been major like like, like the subway. So, whatever. Those people that were on there causing troubles, they get off at, I think, Broadview. Which wasn't too far, thank God. And the rest of the ride was smooth. So, I'm all, like, happy mood. I get off at Queen and Young, and I decide that it's gorgeous out. Yesterday was absolutely beautiful. I walk up Young Street on the outside of the mall until I hit Dundas and then go in so I can go to work. So I get there at about 9.40-ish because my shift is at 10. So I knock on the door. She lets me in. I want to go to the back. Good morning, you look so pretty today. I'm like, thank you very much. Charlie, hey, I'm right here. You bugger, stop it. No, he's so weird. He likes eating Kleenex. Strange little fellow. And he can, he can reach the gar... Hold on a second. Did I do it right? I did it right. Okay, I just pressed the record button again. Sorry, he's very odd, so I had to go and fix that. He can reach the top of the garbage can. Strange little dog. Does anybody else's dog do weird stuff? Because our dog does weird stuff, like eat Kleenex. Strange. Anyway. So, yeah, I get into work. I had to think of where I was. Um, And, you know, she's so, so pretty because I was wearing that green embroidered dress. Honestly, it was gorgeous. It was floor length. And I think, I'm pretty sure that that's my favorite dress right now. I need more dresses like that. Like, I just loved the style of it. I loved the cut of it. The flow. Everything. Absolutely beautiful. I put a picture on my social media yesterday on my Instagram. So if you want to check it out, it's Miss Mosby from Kitchen. I've mentioned it before. A lot of you have gone over there to follow me. Thank you very much. Anyway. So I'm sitting in the back room. And after a few minutes, she comes to the back and she's like, are you working this morning? And I'm like, uh, I think so. <laughs> she's like, okay. So we look at the schedule and she's like, you're on the schedule back here. But on mine, it says Emily. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah, I switched with Emily, but I was not at home when I switched. So I forgot to write it on the calendar. And now I'm back at home. And on the calendar there, it says 10 o'clock this morning. So I came in. She's like, okay, so you're not supposed to be here. I'm like, yeah, I kind of realized that. And we started laughing. So I said, okay, I'm going to go. Let's make sure that, that Emily can come in. And uh, and as soon as she comes, then I'll just head out. She said, okay, thank you. No problem. Like, just in case, just in case I actually did screw up and I wasn't supposed to switch. And then we thought that I switched, you know, just to make sure. So about maybe 10 minutes later, Em comes in. And I'm like, good morning. She's like, what are you doing here? And I'm like, yeah. So I explain the story to her. We start laughing again. And I'm like, so I will be back later. So fine. I decided that I was going to go shopping. So again, I'm like, I'm going to go out and enjoy this weather. So I, I went to the shopper's drug in the mall. And I uh, just picked up some stuff for the house. And they had a deal where if you spend... I think if you spend $50, you got $20 back in points, which is pretty darn good. So it wasn't too hard to do that, unfortunately. I was like, oh, wait, our grocery delivery is here? I didn't order yet, so it's not. It's somebody else getting, voila. 
Um, so yeah, I picked up a whole bunch of stuff and then I decided to walk down to King Street, which is a nice little walk. Um, especially in that weather. Oh my God, it was gorgeous. So I go down to King Street and there's this bellowing person sitting on the street corner and right away my heart sinks because I, I'm one of those people who just wants to help everybody. And she's screaming that she needs help, but not in a manner of like, there's something wrong with her, that she needed some change. And I don't carry change on me. Honest to God, I don't carry any money on me. Or if I do, it's like bills in case of emergency. I always have a 20 stacked in case I need to take a cab. Although I probably don't need to do that anymore because now I have the Beck app on my phone. So I could literally hail a, a Beck and pay for it directly on my phone. Anyway... So the cops come to ask her to move because she's being quite noticeable. Let's just put it that way. She moves like one post over. But as she was getting up with all of her stuff, the cops just left thinking that, you know, she's going to be okay. They literally just pulled up, I think, out of luck, flipped their siren on and just told her to move. So she got up, like I said, and they left. And then she moved over one pole and then just sat down and started screaming at him. So then she gets on my streetcar and I'm like, oh, come on. She didn't stay on there long, but she was screaming still on the streetcar. And right away, like I said, my heart just goes out to them because mental health issues are a huge, or were a huge thing in my life, right? So I'm an advocate. And my first instinct is to try and help people who are experiencing issues Uh, because I know what it was like with my mom. For those of you who don't know, my mom was bipolar, manic depressive. And we went through hell. Absolute hell. Trying to advocate for proper care for her. And then actually getting the care for her. Um, was a nightmare. So. You know, it's fine to say that you can have the care. But actually getting the person to get in to get the care is a whole nother story because they can sign themselves out because they're not papered. Um, we did have to paper my mom once and that was, believe me, that's a whole nother story. I could probably talk about it because I do like to talk about mental health because I think there's a stigma attached to it and um, we need to get rid of that. And the only reason that we can, or the only way that we can do that, sorry, is by openly talking about it. I also had um, two of my ex-girlfriends have mental health issues and you know it's to me it's just normal like and I think that that's the way that society should look at it is that everybody has issues it's just a different issue and mental health issues are so stigmatized in society and people are looked down upon for them and it doesn't make any sense at all at all if a person especially is having any kind of struggles we need to help them like, you know, advocate for them if they can't do it themselves for sure. And then when they do get the help, don't talk bad to them and don't make them feel like shit for getting help for their mental health. Applaud that, you know, be proud of them and, and be thankful that they are doing something to actually take care of them, themselves. That's amazing in any way, shape or form, you know, an eating disorder is a mental illness. It's an addiction. So, you know, it's just a different kind, that's all. Anyway, that's my TED Talk for today. So I came home, relaxed the rest of the day, had a self-care day, did my nails, and then went back to work yesterday night, and it was smooth sailing yesterday, I'm not going to lie, from my streetcar ride there to my streetcar ride home, because I took the streetcar. It was lovely. All right, friends, thanks for watching. I will have a huge update tomorrow with all of my fun from tonight. I hope you have a lovely Saturday. Be well, my friends. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you know when I put up a new video. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Bye.